this and I'm onto the metal aqua ions of the inorganic reactions. So when placed in water, transition metals form metal aqua complexes. This is where the lone pair on the oxygen atom of six water molecules coordinately bonds onto the central metal ion, complex being formed by six water ligands. We need to know the colours for the 2 plus metal aqua complex ions and the 3 plus metal aqua complex ions. So for the 2 plus we have ion 2 and this forms the complex FeH206 2 plus and it has a green solution. Copper 2 plus, we should know this from failing solution, but this is basically a blue solution. We've got cobalt 2 plus, we should know this from the transition metals by now, and this forms a pink solution. And in regards to the 3 plus ions, we have iron 3, and this should form a lilac colour, but we actually see a yellow colour and either answers will be allowed in an exam. For chromium, chromium 3, we get a ruby colour, but we actually see a green colour, and the reason for this is due to chloride impurities, and again, both answers will be accepted. And finally, we have Al3+, this forms the complex AlH206 3+, and this is a colourless solution, and the reason for this is simple, it's not a transition metal. Hopefully you will have already figured that out. So the metal aqua ions can react with water to form acidic solutions. These are known then as acidic slash hydrolysis reactions. And it's where the OH bond in a water ligand is broken, releasing the H plus ion into the solution. And this step can be repeated to the complex neutral. And we'll discuss this in a later video. So the reaction for this acidity slash hydrolysis reaction is the metal surrounded by the six water ligands with the two or three plus charge plus water to form the metal with five H2O ligands surrounded by it and one OH ligand. And this should actually say plus one or plus two because obviously they'll have lost a hydrogen so the charge will be one less. And what's released is the H3O plus. Okay, so in terms of the strengths, the strength of the acidic solutions depend on the ion's charge. So the 2 plus ions form weak acidic solutions around pH 6, whereas the 3 plus ions form strong acidic solutions around pH 3. The reason for this is because the 3 plus ions have a greater size to charge ratio, and this is quite important. So this means that their polarizing ability is much greater than the 2 plus ions. What this means is that they're able to weaken the OH bond more by withdrawing the electron density from the oxygen atom on the water ligand, causing dissociation of the H plus to be more likely to occur. And that's quite a typical exam style answer, so it would be good to kind of remember that wording because it could come up as a good 3 or 4 marker. Okay, so that's it for the metal aqua ions complexes.